Okay. It's my first ever liquid lipstick. Clip shades transferring all over the place. Okay guys, so today is the last part. My full NYX review. Today is the last part all about lips, so let's get into this. But the first product I want to talk about is the Soft Matte Lip Creams. I've only ever tried one shade of this. People used to love these. These were like a holy grail of so many people's. It's a liquid lipstick that never dries down, so it, it shows as matte, but it's like a comfortable matte. Um, I tried like a purple one and it was so streaky. I really, really struggled with it. The nude colours look gorgeous. It's like a London shade and Abu Dhabi shade and things like that. They look amazing. Um, so maybe I need to try those out again. But like I said, the deeper shades I just found, or at least the purple one anyway, I just found it was like kind of streaky. So that was just a... I'm just going to skip out on that. Line and load. I really wanted to test this out. Like this is a interesting concept. I got the shade DM Me. It's like a rounded almost liner so you can line your lips really well and then just fill it in. That was a really really good idea. Um, the shade is very very interesting. This shade I feel like it might maybe be better on slightly warmer skin tones because it's a very neutral kind of shade. I am wearing it today underneath a lip gloss. Lip lacquer anyway. This is the slip tease lip lacquer in uh let's get physical wow <laughs> okay what i saw tatty wear this this was a long time ago i really loved the shade on her so i was like i just need to go get that and i've had this for about two years and i never grabbed for it however i will say i'm loving glossy lips more recently so maybe i'll once i don't have to wear a mask all the time i might be more likely to use this i love the applicator the applicator really hugs the lip really nicely um, to make your lips look super full and juicy. Um, the shade's really, really pretty. I could put a little bit more on. I'm probably going to end up getting that all over my teeth. Next, I honestly probably just need to get rid of this. But I wanted to mention it in this video. The NYX Lip Lingeries are super matte liquid lipsticks. And this baby doll shade was my go-to for a really, really long time. Oh, I didn't swatch the other shade. Oh, actually, now I've mixed it up. It's not too bad. It was like, really leaking earlier. And I was like, I probably should throw this away. But now it's all mixed up. It's okay. But this is the baby doll shade. It's like super pink, you can see. And this is the uh, Let's Get Physical lip lacquer. I used to have like a few bullets. Um, but this is my first ever liquid lipstick. And I loved it. I got a compliment on it. If you like matte lipsticks, you will probably really, really like these. Oh yeah, I forgot these lip lacquers are tingly. Like, really nice shades as well in this range. I'm not even sure you can get these on their own. I would expect so, but I don't know. This is the Nude Rose Matte Liquid Lipstick. I used to love this. This shade here is like super, super peachy. I don't wear these peachy, warm shades anymore. But it's... Again, a super matte lipstick, so if you like those, you might like shade, but I'm not even sure if this is available on its own. Just a few more. So, another nude. NYX Liquid Suede. I actually got a mini of this shade, and I literally went through the whole of this. I don't use this enough, because again, similar to the soft matte creams, these move around a little bit. Like, I'd prefer if these are liquid lipsticks. I prefer a liquid lipstick to something that can transfer, because then I don't have to worry about it getting all over my teeth or all over my face all over my food. This soft spoken shade I used to be one of my favourite nudes. Um, I still really like it. It's got more of a redder undertone than a lot of the others and it's really really pretty. Stone Fox shade. I loved this shade because I, I really love my bold colours like this bold grey. This has like a blue undertone for a grey. Tart lip shades transferring all over the place. I don't gravitate towards it very much but it is really pretty. Lastly the matte lipsticks. I swatched these in store and thought they were so matte and beautiful. I had to just grab them. This is in Shake That Money. These are like very matte bold lipsticks, but you can get a bunch of shades. They have tons of them. And then the blue grey is in Ace. You can see here those two here. You can see they're a lot matter than any of the other shades. They are super matte in the bullet. And they're very pigmented in one swipe. I don't have any problem with these. I just, I don't gravitate towards them a huge amount because 
I tend to wear nudes more often than bolds nowadays because I'm just going for a more of like a natural look. So if you enjoyed this video and this review of NYX, if you missed part one or part two, I will link those in the description below. What brand should I review next? I feel like it should be a high-end, affordable, high-end, affordable, high-end. I'm going to be doing Colourpop. I know it's going to be at least four part series because it's going to be long. But we'll see. <laughs> Please subscribe so you don't miss that. And I hope to see you all very soon in the next video. Bye.